Hello everyone, welcome to part three of Video Game Collector's Editions. Uh, I pulled together three very different types of games for this episode. One of them also happens to be one of my favorite horror games of all time, so let's take a look. First up is the limited edition for the original Assassin's Creed on the 360. This came out on November 13th, 2007. I want to say it was originally either $80 or $70 for this collector's edition. I do not remember, and I could not find any info pertaining to the actual release price. Um, now, on eBay, the <laughs> completed prices for this one are all over the place. Um, either the ones I can find, like in the last couple months, um, were not complete themselves, or it sold with like the collector's edition for Assassin's Creed 2. Um, or they were just selling parts, you know, from it. So it ranged anywhere from like $10 for just the box to $130 for part one and two together opened, and then like a sealed one sold for 60 So I really can't give you a, a going rate on this right now, um, but we can at least take a look and see what's inside. It has a little uh, slip cover on it. It's a, a tin case and got a little picture on the back. And inside, you guys might find this kind of funny, um, <clears throat> this is the little figurine it comes with, and it's actually really delicate. Um, now, this is not the original wrapping it came in, uh, it was like a little plastic shell. Um, I don't know what, what happened to that plastic shell. Uh, I moved, um, and maybe when I was packing, uh, it fell out, like, and it felt, you know, it got thrown away or something, and I had to pack it in this, and it's been in this little bubble wrap ever since. I forgot I had packed it, you know, like this, um, for when we moved, but, hey, it's still working, and I would rather have it not bouncing around inside, but the little figurine is, like I said, it's pretty delicate, um, and I remember when I first saw this collection edition, it was right around the time when I was basically buying a collection edition for every game that, that I was going to buy, um, and I was like, oh, cool, a little statue or a little figurine, that's awesome. And I'm thinking, you know, it's at least, I don't know, six inches tall, or, or maybe I just didn't notice how big they said it was. And then when I opened up the package and realized it was it was this big, I was like, damn, that, that kind of sucks. Um, maybe it was my bad, or maybe they just didn't really do a good job of, of describing it. But anyways, you know, it's, it's still a cool little figurine. Uh, there is a comic inside, also very short comic. It's uh, put out by Penny Arcade, you can see right there. Um, maybe about, I don't know, 8 to 10 pages long at, at the most. And then you have the uh, art book, The Art of Assassin's Creed. Uh, this exact style of art book and this size was super hot right around that time. I mean, there must have been... 20 games that I got little art books uh, this exact same size either for pre-ordering uh, it might help if I was showing you guys the picture not myself um, either for pre-ordering the games or for you know uh, getting a collector's edition they came packed in um, but they were definitely the hot shit back then and uh, I guess it's sort of like today everything has a steel book case well this was the steel book case from like five years ago I guess and then of course we have the game with uh, a bonus content disc and then the regular disc inside and then under the manual is a strategy guide and art book preview um, so that's kind of funny and I'll take a little quick look in there um, just obviously a very <laughs> very short very small strategy guide and let's see where's the art book preview part uh, I guess towards the the back you can kind of see some of the art book pages. So it's a pretty cool little collector edition. I mean, remember this is five years ago, and even just in that short amount of time, most collector editions were only like 20 bucks more than a regular edition, you know, give or take $10 in either direction, um, compared to today where you're very likely to see either one for 100 or 130 or 150 and it's like they kept testing the waters and kept pushing it. They're like, you think people would buy one for 100 bucks? Uh, oh, wow, they did. Oh, do you think they'll buy it for 150 Oh, fuck, they did. So, um, like I said, I don't remember the exact price, but obviously I know this wasn't in that price range. Um, I sort of wish there were more collector editions maybe in that price range. I do love the big statues uh, and, that, and the big art books and stuff, but... $150, especially around the Christmas season or the busier time of the year uh, when they start releasing the bigger games that all have $150 collector editions, it can put a hurtin' on your wallet. 
Here we have the Grow Lancer Heritage of War Limited Edition on the PS2. This came out on September 18th, 2007, and if you had bought it new back then, this was the only way to get it. Um, seeing as that every copy was a limited edition, it's pretty easy to find a complete one, and in fact, on eBay over the last month or so, uh, there's been a ton of sealed ones that have sold, and they go for right around $50. Every once in a while, one will go for like 80 or 70 bucks for no apparent reason, uh, but a open one, if it's complete goes for like 25 35 bucks, um, so you can get it fairly inexpensive for everything that came inside. And there's a decent amount of stuff, and I have a little story that goes along with me trying to get this complete also. Um, so first I'll show you the stuff that came inside. You have the game, of course, different cover art than on the box, which I always love, and the disc has also different art on it. Uh, instruction booklet. Then you have the Grow Lancer Illustration Archive. Um, actually, this is pretty dang thick. It's uh, has a lot of info, a lot of pictures and characters in it. Um, uh, let's see, is there actually page numbers? Of course not. But I would say, I mean, at least a, a 60 or 70 page book in there. Then we have the uh, media disc with a creepy chick crying blood on it. And a set of little pins with some of the characters on it. This is still, like, sealed. And a couple of lenticular cards, which are pretty cool shiny and then the last thing is pretty damn cool it's a keychain which i don't know if you'll be able to see it just says girl answer heritage of war on it uh, it's falling out and there you go so my quick little story about getting this collection edition um i originally bought just the game used and then i realized you know oh the collection edition was pretty cool uh, i would like to you know own it so i had a friend who had the box the pins, uh, the media disc, and the illustration booklet, and she just gave it to me. She was like, yeah, I have that stuff, um, but I don't have the keychain or the lenticular cards anymore. I was like, well, sweet, if you're giving it to me for free, that's awesome. Uh, but then I was like, you know what, I really want that damn keychain and the cards. Uh, I couldn't find just those by themselves for sale, like on eBay, so I ended up actually buying the collector's edition um, on eBay and then I compared the two sets I had and I took the better items that were duplicates and put them together for my set and I sold the other one for like 20, 25 bucks. This was a few years ago. Um, so that is how I came about getting this complete collector's edition. This last one is for a game that I always recommend to people looking for a good horror title on the 360. That is Alan Wake, the limited collector's edition. This came out on May 18th, 2010, and it was $80. Um, I mentioned in one of the other episodes of this series that I really like false book collector's editions, and this is one of my favorites. It actually has fake pages painted on the side of it. Really nice, shiny front cover, side cover, and silhouette of Alan Wake on the back. Uh, it's magnetized, and on the inside, you have a little signature from Alan Wake there. And then you can see there are three separate items in the box. We have a cardboard case that has the soundtrack and bonus disc inside with some artwork in the background. Uh, we have the game case, which has two pieces of downloadable content inside. One for a Alan Wake avatar uh, shirt and a theme. And then one for some DLC that was going to be released uh, later on that summer. And as usual, I didn't use either one of them. Uh, I am bad about using the extra content, I know, but hey, you know, sue me. Um, and then the last item is a book, which uh, is called The Alan Wake Files. And it's basically the story of Alan Wake. And it is pretty dang thick and really nicely done. It's hardcover. Um, it has some, um, as you can see, there was like a couple pictures in there just mixed in with the story. This was really nice. Um, I am such a big fan of this game. You can get a sealed uh, copy of the collector's edition for around like $40. Um, an open one only seems to go, you know, like on average around like $30, so not that much cheaper. Um, seeing as just a copy of the game uh, like used at GameStop, I think it's still $17.99, um, so right around the $20 mark, you can get a sealed uh, collector edition for only $20 more. Um, so I really recommend this game. I'm hoping that this eventually someday goes back up in price because it's such a cool collector edition. I mean, like, fucking 
really good quality stuff in there. Okay, that's enough of me boasting about Alan Wake and how much I love it, but I do highly recommend the game. Uh, thank you guys for watching another episode of Video Game Collector's Editions, and I hope to see you in the comments down below. Thumbs up, all that kind of crap, and I will talk to you later. Peace.